Hello guys and welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos so today I'll be ranking my top 10 guns in the new season 5. Three things to keep in mind before we start. First of all I'm only ranking ground loot guns so guns like the HS or the Kilo or the M21 won't be included. I just want to help you decide which gun to pick from the ground in the start until the loadout airdrop arrives. Second of all all the damage tests are done against an enemy with 300 HP at two different ranges depending on the type of the gun and finally this list represents my personal opinion some of you may disagree and that's understandable we all have different opinions after all and with that being said let's get started In number 10 we have the RUS 79U. This gun has been a solid choice for me in the start of the game but not really a main choice yet. It has an average fire rate of 783 rounds per minute and here are the killing times at 5 meters range and 20 meters range. So the killing time is not really the best for an SMG. And another thing that drives me crazy about the RUS is the reload time. There were so many times where I thought I reloaded but I found out that I didn't because of how long it takes to reload this gun. I mean it's not that bad but for an SMG that has 30 bullets only I think it should be faster. However the RUS has one special thing about it which is the hipfire accuracy as I believe it has the best hipfire accuracy in the game which allows you to hit more of your shots especially with the recent accuracy nerf they did to SMGs. In number 9 we have the PPSH-41. Compared to the RUS this gun has a faster fire rate of 820 rounds per minute. But when it comes to the killing time it kills slower at close range. However at ranges beyond 10 meters the PP kills faster thanks to its range. But the main reason why I prefer it over the RUS is the huge mag size. You have no idea how many times I won against enemies just because I had more bullets. Even in 1 vs 3 situations, especially in the start of the game. In addition to that, it has an overall faster mobility. Next in number 8 we have the BY-15 and the KRM. The reason why I put them together is because I think they're equally powerful. The KRM has slightly more damage and accuracy while the BY-15 has faster fire rate and slightly more range. And I can't give you an accurate killing time because they can be very unpredictable. Which is the reason I put them in number 8. Yes they can want to two shot enemies but in order to achieve that you need to either have a long barrel mod or to hug your enemies at 5 meters range. And sometimes you need both. As I said they're very unpredictable. All you need to know that in the enemy hands they kill you with one shot But when you use them you empty a full mag and it barely scratches them In number 7 we have the M4. Both the M4 and the RUS have one thing in common. They're not really considered meta guns among SMGs and assault rifles. But they still make a solid and reliable choice and in the right hands they can easily win fights and games. So the M4 has a fire rate of 705 rounds per minute. And here are the killing times at 10 meters range and 40 meters range. Now the best thing about the M4 is the fact that it's easy to control even without any attachments. And I used to rank it higher in the previous videos because it used to have a faster killing time than the AK-47 at close ranges. But that's not the case anymore. As the AK-47 received a damage buff which until this day doesn't make any sense to me. Moving on to number 6 we have the Jack 12. Echo's big brother. Again I'm not gonna go into details because it's a shotgun. All you need to know that it has a massive crosshairs, high damage and it's automatic. Press the shooting button once and you're good to go. Basically a gun that requires absolutely no skill. At number 5 and affected by the recent nerfs we have the Fennec. The gun with the second fastest fire rate of 1110 rounds per minute. And if we look at the killing time at both ranges you'll notice an increase in the killing time which is something I noticed right away. It takes way too long to kill someone beyond 10 meters range compared to the previous seasons. However I still consider it a solid option for close range as I find it easy to control and track enemy movements with it. Plus the high mobility and the strafing speed.
In number 4 we have the newest addition to the game, the Odin. And I know a lot of you guys would rank it higher and probably place it in number 1. But I don't think it's as good as most people think. So the Odin has a slow fire rate of 410 rounds per minute. But if we take a look at the killing time, we'll notice that it has one of the fastest killing times among assault rifles, thanks to its high damage. This gun is insane at close range. But the reason why I put it in number 4 is the fact that it's a bit hard to hit your targets at mid to long range. And I believe it's good with a loadout build but I wouldn't prioritize it as a ground loot gun. We arrive to the top 3 guns starting with the M13. Thanks to its fast fire rate of 880 rounds per minute, it goes head to head with the Odin. And right here you can see the reason why I placed it in number 3 and why I chose it over the Odin. The killing time at close range is ridiculous. And if we do side to side comparison between the M13 and the Odin, you'll see that the M13 is better overall at close range. while the Odin kills faster at longer ranges. But as I mentioned, the Odin is hard to control at long ranges anyway, so you'll end up missing many shots. The other reason why I placed it in top 3 is because it can be used both as an SMG and assault rifle, and it actually beats most SMGs when it comes to the killing time. Moving on to number 2, we have the MAC-10, the most wanted gun by the shotgun players. They really hate this gun. And despite all the nerfs that hit this little guy, it still managed to survive and maintain its position as the best SMG in Battle Royale. The MAC-10 has the fastest fire rate in the game with 1200 rounds per minute. That allows it to have a crazy fast killing time shown here. And if we compare it to the Fennec, the results are very close at 10 meters range, but the Mach 10 still wins by a tiny difference. However, beyond that range, the Mach 10 completely dominates in every single part of the body. And finally in number 1 we have the AK-47. Whoever's responsible for the buffs and nerfs in Activision must be a big fan of this gun. Thanks to the unnecessary damage buffs, the AK-47 manages to hold its position as the best gun in Battle Royale. It has a slow fire rate of 550 rounds per minute, and as a result it doesn't really have the best killing time as you can see here. But the reason why it's my favorite gun is because it's easy to control at all ranges within 50 meters, especially if you have the right mods. And that's mainly because of the fact that it barely has any horizontal recoil. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the slow fire rate is actually a good thing when it comes to the AK-47, as it allows me to hit more of my shots compared to let's say the M13. It's like it's not too slow and not too fast, just a perfect fire rate that syncs well with the recoil. Now let's go through some honorable mentions starting with the MSMC. It's like a bad version of the Mag 10 and the Fennec, and on top of that it has 5 less bullets in the Mag. The Type 25, which is also a worse version of the M13. It makes a good SMG and assault rifles hybrid at close range, but the M13 is always a better option. The M4 LMG, I'd rather pick any of the assault rifles I mentioned in the list. The only good thing about it is the mag size, but it's not enough for me especially with the low mobility. The PDW, it's just an average gun, average damage and average killing time. Again it has a large mag size, but I prefer the PP when it comes to that. And finally the Chikom, here's a fun fact about this gun, it has the fastest killing time in the head area with 450 milliseconds only, and the killing time for the rest of the body is also decent, but I hate the fact that it's a burst gun as it makes it harder to aim. This can easily be top 5 gun for some of you guys if you can control it and aim well with it, so make sure to give it a try and see how it goes. Before I end this video, I want you guys to know that Red Magic is hosting a top 5 Red Magic moments, an event where you can submit your best mobile gaming clips for amazing prizes, such as a free Red Magic 7 Pro. The link with the full rules and details will be in the description, so make sure you follow them to be eligible. I really hope this video helps you decide which gun to pick from now on, and if it did, then consider leaving a like on your way out, and let me know what your favorite guns are down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.